Okay, so today we're going to go over cooking pumpkin seeds. They normally come with a lot of guts on them, so you need to separate the guts. And I like to put it in a colander. And once it's in the colander, then I, I like to rinse off, because the guts actually add a bit of slime. Seriously, a lot of slime. So we rinse it off in the colander, and which is just fun to play in, I think. I think you get distracted for the rest of the time. And so once you have the seeds are nice and clean, you can, I like to do a nice big batch so I don't waste my time. And I try to make sure I have about four cups. At which point, then, I would dump it into my water. And this water has been boiling now um, for 30 minutes. And these seeds are just done. They're looking so beautiful. What I do is I usually put in about one third cup of salt and about 11 cups of water. So it's usually almost the full pan. And then you dump the seeds in and let them boil for that half an hour. Then we take and we're going to dump them into a clean colander. I like to keep my cleaning the seeds, guts, and cleaning my cooked seeds separate. So I have two colanders. And here we have these beautiful seeds. Now I want to show you the difference between the seeds. So here's a... I'll go outside the steam so I don't get steamy camera. Here is your non-cooked seed. I'm going to get equal size so you can tell. And here's your cooked seed. Equal size looking, but if you turn them, the cooked one is plumper and it holds more flavor. It's just a beautiful seed. So I like to give it a good rinse. Just because the salt, um, I don't want to leave too much salt on the outside of the seeds from the salt water, but the salt helps to draw out and plump them up nice and good. Nice and good, that's a really good saying. Huh? So we got our seeds, and then we take them, and we'll bring them over here, and normally I would have a paper towel, and I dump them on the paper towel. These ones I've already paper toweled, but you want to make sure to pat them dry, and put them on a lipped cookie sheet. Here's all my extra guts that I got rid of. It's a lot of guts. These are all from the Hawthorne family carving night. Then we're going to drizzle some oil, just regular old, you know, olive oil. If you have a special oil you want to use, that's fine. I wouldn't use um, the avocado oil. I like it a lot, but because it, it tends not to brown, um, it won't crispify these as well as, uh, say, this olive oil I'm using. So once the pan and the seeds, now they're all nice and glossy, um, are nice and glossy, I'll pat them flat. And I like to use Johnny's Garlic Spread Seasoning. Um, if you are allergic to, to dairy, that would probably be not a good option for you because it does have Parmesan cheese in the mix. And so I'm lightly going to tap this seasoning, just a nice even coat, over the seeds. If you like a heavier garlic taste, you might put on more. It's really just for looks, how, how much you put on. And then I'm going to toss them so that it gets on all sides of the seeds. Oh, it smells delicious. Sorry, you can't smell through video. So, now we have them nice and coated. I spread them back out. Oh, maybe I'll put a little bit more. You kind of got to decide how much flavor you want, because it does cook down a little bit, so it's not going to be too strong put a little bit more on. But now I'm going to flatten them out. You don't want them to be too high. You want about a nice even cooking. And then we take this pan and we're going to stick it in the oven. Now the oven is set at 280 and we're going to set the timer to two hours takes two hours. It's kind of almost a more of a dehydrating process. And then we can start another batch. So I'll clean out this pan. I'll put in new water and start a new batch because we have a lot of seeds to do. And that is making pumpkin seeds. Heidi's not so secret, secret recipe. <laughs>